going on, y'all? It's your girl Tashia here with Black Tree TV, and we are live on the red carpet at the 2008 BET Awards. The crowd is over there waiting for all the anticipated artists to walk down the red carpet so we can get all the exclusive interviews right here to you via Black Tree TV. So keep it locked. You don't want to miss it because if you're not here, we're going to bring it straight to you live here at the 2008 BET Awards. is nominated tonight for video of the year anthem when you thought of the treatment for anthem where did it come from the video like what inspired you to you know have so many characters in that video for me i always like to just have fun when i do my videos i like to uh, create a story and actually uh grab personalities and and create environments that i experienced before and um i always like you know to i guess recreate Things that are you know, kind of real that you never see on TV, like like the women that are fighting at the wedding. You know what I mean, so I wanted to capture that moment um, and really get an authentic, uh, I guess, an authentic wedding that I would be at. In case you didn't know, I'm the, I'm the singer on stage that's doing all the. Oh, you know what I mean. So anything that I can do my thing, I try to do videos where I can have my cameo. That's what it's about, my cameo. So how has um, Idlewild opened up doors for you in Hollywood? You working on any future films? Yeah, I am working on. Uh, I'm working on a few of them. Idlewild has opened up a lot of doors because I had an opportunity to write and direct and tell a story and work with um, actors and, and really like really push it, and not do what was expected. So um, I think the, the the next script that I take that will be completely out the outside the box. I've been very um, selective in what what my choices are, and so I'm taking my time. I'm going to ask you a real question. I know the industry, um, music industry aren't doing the numbers that it used to do, so a lot of the budgets has been cut. Has video budgets been one of the budgets that's been cut? Oh, videos are crazy now. It's, 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 it's really tough. So, I mean, it's, it's good and bad. It's, it's bad because you're not going to get the magic you used to get. You know, those classy videos, I don't, I don't know if you're going to keep getting those, but I think that it'll force... Um, It'll force directors, new up and coming directors, to really be creative with, with you know, with, with less. Um, I wish there was more money in it because you know, we, it, it was part of also part of the the the, the music. I think that just as I, I think, hey, I was huge, but I think the video also helped it be huge. You know what I mean? And I don't know how how often that's going to happen in the future. You know, uh, because they just don't have enough money in the budgets. But you know, there's some good stuff coming out. And, you gotta work with what you got. Who are you looking forward to performing tonight? You know, Lil Wayne, Nelly, Usher. There's some of the performances. Who are you looking to see and you know do their thing tonight? You know, I, you named all of them. I love Usher. I know he's about to come with something crazy. He has to. He ain't he ain't been on the scene for a minute. Um, uh, you know, Lil Wayne right now. His swagger is so crazy. He's just electric. So he's a, he's a rock star right now. So we gonna see what he got. He's Tupac. So we about to see Tupac on stage. That's big. That's big. Yeah, that's Tupac right there. Thanks for talking to us. Right. See you later.